Hi. Um, it's Violet. Today I wanted to show you some of my perfect things. Um, I made this video already. I filmed it like a couple minutes ago, but it was the computer fan was on and it was dark. So I'm making it again because I love you and I hate it when there's background noise. So there's some crazy light happening. But I have a small collection of perfect things, um, which are just things that are the right size and shape and color and weight and just a certain combination just makes them very aesthetically pleasing to me. Um, so much so that I just feel happy when I'm looking at them. It just gives me a very deep sense of satisfaction. So I have a couple of them. Um, and I just wanted to show you them today. So, get started. The first one <coughs> is this coffee mug. It is white ceramic. I don't know what it is about this coffee mug, but it's gorgeous. It has my name on the back, so I'm not going to show you that. It's my full name. But it's just in a really cool font, and it's really little. Um, but it's beautiful. I love the handle. You can see just this nice circular shape. And it's got ridges on the outside. And you know when you hold it, it's a little bit awkward. Like that. And it's just so smooth and it's a bit heavy. And I quite like it. On the inside, because it's the winter and my roommate has been sick, we've had a collection of cough drops. <laughs> Which is very funny, I think. So these are some super intense ones. Like stuff on the inside, I think. <laughs> I don't know. It's an interesting sound, isn't it? But I think it's beautiful. And it has just a really nice finish and shape. And it's beautiful. I love it. I don't I don't drink coffee. I don't really drink that much tea. I try to avoid caffeine <laughs> just because I'm a very energetic person already. Another cup is this glass. And it is gorgeous. This was a gift from my very dear friend, my cousin, and she, um, she knows my taste. <laughs> People joke that I'm really hard to shop for, but my god, she nailed it. It's a perfect thing. It, I love the color of it, and the way it looks when you hold it in the light, and these little fish, which are just so cute and the texture of the glass. It's the height of it. It's made from a recycled wine bottle, which is so cool. You can see the, the texture. My nails aren't painted. just beautiful and it 
holds my makeup brushes and every time I look at it I just feel so happy. So I'm going to put this one down. <coughs> going to move on to jewelry. Um, this one is, this is a jade bracelet. It is from China. Um, it's real jade. There's some cool tests you can do to see if jade is real or not. And I know one of them involves wrapping a human hair around the jade and then like lighting the hair on fire. Um, and I can't exactly, this might be wrong, but I think the jade it has properties that put out the fire because it's, it's cold enough or something. I don't know. Maybe it's... I don't know. But it's lovely. It's beautiful. It's very small. Um, I have quite thick... well, I mean, not quite thick, but I have, like, I don't have, like, slender wrists. Um, my family, they're farmers, so, you know, they're very strong, and their bodies are built to last. They're not built to be elegant. <laughs> but I wouldn't trade them, they're very sturdy. But, um, so this is very small. But my grandma explained that that's the way it's supposed to be. You have to lather up your hand with, like, soap. Then you slide it on. And then it goes on your wrist. That's it. I wore this for months. Um, and it's just lovely. Mm, supposedly, jade draws out bad energy, and jade gets paler over time as it absorbs bad energy. I don't know. I, I love that sort of cultural stuff. I have dreams of going to China, so when I do, I will definitely wear this. Another jewelry item is this pink set of pearls, and I think I played with this in my gift consultant roleplay. But they're lovely. I love the color. is these sunglasses. They are just very inexpensive sunglasses. But they're a nice shape. They look really good on me, I think. I'm very picky about sunglasses. I think a lot of girls are. Um, just because you need to find a pair that looks good on your face. So, I like these. Show you what I look like. I like the Wayfarer sort of style, um, the black, but yeah, they're good. Put that down. The next thing is coins. Coins are Wonderful. I love coins. I have to hear a two euro coin and an American half dollar from 1936. They don't make these anymore. It's a very old coin. Um, there's the bald eagle. And it says United States of America half dollar. Epler 
Arabiscunum, and there's a tiny little D right there. I don't know why. The two euro coin is, I mean, there, those of you who live in Europe, you know, it's just a two euro coin, and it's got Britain, I think. No. Scandinavia. There's Norway and Sweden. And it says, Liberté, Egalité, Fraternité, on the back, which is the French national, like, motto. Equality, um, or freedom, equality, like, brotherhood. Um, it's really nice, and I like that it has the stars on the side. I think that's cool. I like the American one because it's so old. It's very smooth. So, you know, when you run your hands over it, you almost can't feel the difference. The back. Just because it's... You know, 1936 was a really long time ago. This coin is much older than me. I mean, jeez, America was just recovering from the Depression. <sighs> or maybe still in it. I don't know what 36 was like. But they just make me really happy to look at and to hold. The next thing is a little silly. I love, like, office supplies, <laughs> and this is a really good example of office supplies that make me really happy. They're perfect. Paper clips and binder clips together. If the binder clips are multicolored, I love the way they feel the way they look, like a nice little jumble, and the metals, and the colors of these ones in particular, the blues, no, I'm sorry, the pinks, and the blues, and the greens, um, they're just lovely. Here's another item that is perfect. Is my copy of Jane Eyre. I have a small collection of Jane Eyre copies. Um, I don't know why I started to collect them. I've been collecting them since I was a seventh grader, so you know, seven years ago, something like that. Um, no, six. Doesn't matter. So yes, about six or seven years ago. And um, this is not my first copy. It's the same edition, same volume. It's my first copy, but my first copy got left out in the rain on accident. It was devastating. But it's a very inexpensive, and it's not the prettiest copy of Jane Eyre that I own. Jane Eyre was my, is my favorite book. I read it first at a time of my life that was really hard. And the character of Jane Eyre gave me a lot of strength. So I still look to her fortitude. And I don't know, if you've ever read it, you may or may not like it, but I loved it. And so this copy is very precious to me because it has all my notes in it. And... It's just got a lot of memories. A bit like a friend. <laughs> Those of you who are book lovers know what I mean. Another paper product is this gorgeous notebook. And I am a huge notebook fangirl. I have lots of notebooks. And... I don't collect them because I use them, but
but some of these small, beautiful ones I don't really have any use for. They're just pretty. I should really start a sketchbook or something. That is lovely. This was a gift from a friend of mine. Um, and it's beautiful. I don't think the, I don't think that, that I would ever write in it. It's too pretty. But it's blank on the inside. It's got sort of a recycled, sort of unrefined paper. Which is just nice to feel. The last thing I have to show you is this box. Um, this is a box full of note cards, and they're un they're blank. And I'm a bit old school in that I write thank you notes, so I leave them in my friends' mailboxes sometimes. If somebody does me a favor. this box. I get boxes of note cards sometimes. I just, when I run out, I use them. And so this is my current one. And the boxes are always perfect. Because the texture and the shape and the colors, you know, I can find beautiful ones. So this one has lots of dots. Normally I go for things with sort of natural prints, but this was too fun to pass up. And on the inside, it's the note cards. So they're blank. And just nice. And then if you take, you can see the envelopes, which are stripy. you enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you later.